Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Magnetic Excursion Update Sunday, September 14th, shortly after 10 p.m. Mountain Time 2025. I just returned from the Crestone Energy Fair to a geomagnetic storm, which is ongoing. So we are now at KP7, approaching G3, strong geomagnetic storm. We'll cover all the details in just a moment. So buckle up, Buttercup, and keep calm. It's boom time. Charlie Kirk's death raises fears of the beginning of a dark chapter for U.S. violence. Social media and widespread availability of lethal weapons makes this era more dangerous than the 1960s, and violence may increase. As Charlie Kirk's killing reverberates through Washington as the investigation unfolds, Charlie Kirk's alleged assist assassin's transgender roommate hates conservatives and even Christians, according to relatives. And the FBI arrests two today after incendiary devices were left under Fox 13 News vehicle. So it's only going to get worse, folks. So buckle up. We've been warning about social unrest now for a decade. A quick look at the weather at TornadoHQ.com Live. There are no severe weather warnings. Everything is calming down. There is some rain through the central U.S. and the east, but nothing that significant. Severe weather and heavy rainfall potential for the plains with a coastal low across the mid-Atlantic. That's the full forecast. An upper trough and frontal boundary will focus showers and thunderstorms across portions of the plains through early Monday. A few Severe thunderstorms along with heavy rainfall are expected. Meanwhile, low pressure off the southeast coast will bring inclement weather across the mid-Atlantic through Monday. This system is forecast to meander off the coast and track inland early this week. What are they talking about? Well, let's take a look at the GFS model, and you can see there is some snow in the forecast. Ho, ho, ho. All right, there you can see that little tropical disturbance in the east. It's going to linger around. It's not going to develop, but it's going to dump some moisture over the next several days. We also have some central plains activity here through the rest of the week. And like I was showing you, take a look at the total snowfall. Uh, by late in September here, winter is going to return in abundance. The global warming goodness will be falling from the sky. Seismic update. The coronal hole that triggered the 7.4 yesterday didn't trigger any more uh, big quakes as it has arrived. As we can take a quick look here at Discover Solar Wind, you can see uh, density rising here shortly before plasma speed rises well up towards 700 kilometers per second. The BZ shifted south and that sent us into G3 geomagnetic storm where we are now. So get out if it's clear skies and look up. There will be aurora tonight. And it's happening now. Absolutely fantastic. A quick rundown on the erupting volcanoes today. We've got Fuego with possible volcanic ash. Popo with possible volcanic ash. Nevado de Ruiz to 19,000 foot today. Suanacima to 7,000. San Gay to 21,000. Raventador to 14,000 feet. And we've got Sabancaya to 27,000. That's quite a blast. Fuego to 15, Ibu to 6,000, Popo to 21,000. No volcanic ash at Nevada de Ruiz, Sangay, possible volcanic ash, possible volcanic ash at Raventador, San Maru, who knew? Now you do. An eruption was reported today. Ibu to 6,000, Fuenzima, 7,000 foot puff. And we've got Fuego with possible volcanic ash. Ducono to 7,000 feet. Popo to 21. Uh, wrapping up the list is Liwotolo to, with 6,000 foot puff there. An abnormally long gamma ray burst, unlike anything we've seen before, baffles astronomers. Well, what else is new? Explaining the staggering patter, power of a typical gamma ray burst was hard enough. This one really makes no sense. And we're talking about GRB 250702B, possibly the strangest gamma ray burst yet seen. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know nothing about the universe, but it is electric. 
a newly dated 85 million year old dinosaur egg cache. Look at this nest. Could improve the understanding of the Cretaceous climate. All the links will be below. And the fossil of the oldest known Lepidosaur has been unearthed in the UK. Paleontologists have unearthed a complete skull and skeleton of a Triassic Lepidosaur species named Agriodontosaurus Hellspibertrae in the Hellsby Sandstone Formation of Devon in the UK. These are the first dinosaurs were tiny, little guys just eating bugs, as pictured here. And we had a great time at the 36th annual Crestone Energy Fair, nurturing resilience. We were happy to see many fans come out to give us a holler and a visit, and all of the people coming out to share knowledge on resilience in community moving forward. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up. Share this video, subscribe to the channel, do all those YouTube things. I'm exhausted. We love each and every one of you. And thanks for watching. Be safe. And that is a boom. New news.